Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 185.5. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 185 to 202. And in Trick 185.5, we're going to do the same thing we did in 185, which is we have a data set here with a, a department column. And what we want to do, see it has different departments, we want to extract the records that meet a criteria, so department 1, and place them over here. Now in 185 we did uh, an amazing formula that um, allowed us to do it dynamically. So we have a drop down we can just simply change this and the records are changed. But if you watch this video a very complicated formula. I'm going to show you advanced filter. Much much easier um, that you can use to do the same thing. In fact if you combine advanced filter and a macro. It does the same thing as this other video but without that really complicated formula. Let me just show you how advanced filter works first. We have field names and records. We don't want any spaces anywhere. We don't want any blanks in our field names. The criteria area is going to have the same exact field names. If they're not spelled the same, you're in big trouble. And there's our criteria. Now I've done another video. Uh, there's a link up here for this on this advanced filter where I showed you and and or. This is just a simple uh, one criteria um, uh, data extraction. So we have a criteria area, our data set, and our um, extract area. Now I'm going to click in one cell in the data set. In 2007 you go to data and then this one right here, advanced filter. In 2003 you go to the data menu, filter, and then advanced filter. I'm going to click on this. Filter list in place, we don't want that. I want to say copy to another location. List range, it seems like it got it right. The criteria range, we want to scroll up <coughs> and highlight the field names and the criteria below it. And criteria would be on the same row and ORs on se separate rows, which I did in a different video. Copy to, and I want to highlight this range right here. And then click OK. Just as quick as anything, it dumps our, our data right there. Now, um, if you were going to do this manually every time, it does take a few clicks, but it means you don't have to do that huge formula. Uh, you would have to then delete this data and uh, then come up and change this criteria and run it again. But watch this. If we think just for a moment about some logic here, we could turn on the macro recorder and record a macro and then add a button here or a keyboard shortcut that would do all of this automatically. All right, what do we have to do first before we run the advanced filter again with a different criteria? Oh, we have to delete this data. So that's what we'll do. We'll turn on the macro recorder, delete the data, and then run the um, advanced filter again. By the way, advanced filter. I'm going to show you the list of names, which is probably formula, define names, name manager. In 2003, it's uh, define names under the insert names. But the keyboard shortcut is control F3. And there's all the names. I want you to notice, though, anytime you do an advanced filter, it remembers the extract and the criteria area. And uh, that's good to know. Um, if you want a clean workbook, sometimes you have to come in and delete those, and you don't want any names. All right, so let's turn on our macro. And in uh, 2003, you actually have to add the developer ribbon if you want to do lots of macro stuff, which is you go to the Office Orb. And then down here at the bottom off the screen, you can hardly see it. There's Excel options. And then under Popular right here, you add uh, Show Developer tab in the ribbon. All right, and another thing is um, in 2007, you have to use .xls or .xlsm. So if I hit F12, which is Save As, I can show you in the extension area. <coughs> you'd have to use that one. If you use the default in 2007 .xlsx, you can't get your macros to run. All right, so I'm going to turn on my macro. In 2003, you go to Tools, Macros, Record. In 2007, you can go here. So let's record our macro. Boop. And we're going to call it uh, data extract. And I'm going to assign the keyboard shortcut uh, 
How about Control, and I'm going to hold Shift and R. That's pretty handy there. I held Shift before I hit R, so now the keyboard shortcut is Control, Shift, R. I'm going to click OK. Now, we have to, um, it's all absolute macro, so this will work just fine. We want to start our macro by clicking in this cell and dragging all the way to there. And we're going to use our keyboard shortcut Control, Shift, Down Arrow, which will always go down to the wherever the bottom of the data is. And then I want to hit the Delete key. Now I want to click somewhere in the data set, because that's how you can start your advanced filter. <coughs> um, I'm going to go up to uh, uh, Developer. I'm sorry, uh, Data. We're going to go to Advanced Filter. There's the range. It already uh, knows the uh, criteria range. We need to say copy to another location. See, it already knows it all. I'm going to run it with the same criteria, and then we'll run the macro and to change the criteria. OK, and then click OK. Now click Stop. You can either click Stop there in 2007. This button in 2003 is on your little float floating uh, uh, stop recording macro toolbar. If you don't see it, you have to go to uh, right click a toolbar and point to stop recording macro toolbar. It's there in 2007. You can also go to developer and hit there. All right, so we've uh, stopped it. Now let's change this to DEPT2. Uh, <coughs> and let's, uh, our keyboard shortcut is Control Shift R. And just like that, we have changed our data. Now, where is that macro stored? Um, developer, macros. Notice the keyboard shortcut is Alt F8. That is also in, two, that works in 2003. Uh, to show your list of macros in 2003, of course, it is uh, tools, macros, macros. I'm going to Alt F8. There's our a macro. If you want to change the keyboard shortcut, you do it there. Click OK. If you want to look at the macro, you go to Edit. And there's the uh, recorded macro. This is the VBA uh, editor here. I'm going to go ahead and close this. All right, so that's um, an alternative to how we did it over here with formulas. Um, conceptually a little bit easier. Um, and you do have to do the keyboard shortcut, but it does just about the same thing as what we did over here. All right, we'll see you next trick.